Hi there, Manish Vishal from my web and in this video, I'm just, I'm just going to show you how to make a CRUD application for our, for our e-commerce website. Like uh, so many times we, we need to insert uh, our data, like insert our data name, uh, sorry, brand name, category name, product name and product details and customer details, customer registration and, and all things. So how can you make a CRUD, uh, CRUD application using PHP with a uh, PD extension? extension so let's let's say in this video so let's begin with this so in the in the last video we already worked on it and we tested it like uh, it's uh, connected as well as okay as you can see here is our uh, database name which is myweb underscore ecom okay Uh, yeah, here is a my my web underscore icon. Now let's uh, come let's come back to the, your class folder and make a new file, which uh, name is also crud capital C because uh, we need a cap of uh, we need to write the first letter is kept in the capital. So crud dot php. okay and take a class and the class name is also same as uh, your file name okay crud and we need to extend our uh, our database class so extends db and also we, we need to attach this file into into a crud of crud.php file so I just write a require once db.php okay now uh, how can we get our data for insert that so I write an, I write an example like uh, insert underscore data I, I just show you a example of an example of this so array and as like a username I write SSD, SSD array and this is our and this is the pass okay this is just this this is just a demo okay so this is just a demo for that so how can you make a method for this so I take a class so public public sorry uh, public function and the fun method name is insert for take it ag and I take a first parameter of a sorry like a table name okay and also I take a second parameter which is data like uh, it's a uh, insert data or uh, your data anything as you want you can uh, write your second parameter and first of all we need to check our data is empty or not so if not empty is our data and let's take the uh, fields so i write a custom variable name sorry equal to dollar placeholder which is our that it's our placeholder or or uh, we can say it's a value of of our data so place Holder 
and it will be blank array okay now take a for each loop for each dollar data as filled or you can also take uh, anything like f i or you can also take a filled i just take a filled equal to our value so i write a value variable okay now put put them all the fields field array fields equal to field and also we need to take our placeholders in a sorry for that yeah equal to dollar sorry equal to column curly process and this is our field okay now here you go after this checking the field name if it is not empty then uh, we need to write a SQL query so I write it insert into sorry into and here is our table name okay dollar table underscore name okay and I take a curly braces also show me some suggestions for write them but I write it as a custom comma and dollar fields because uh, when you move to dam this example data so this is our fields and this is our this is our placeholders okay so fields and values is also same as implode dollar placeholder copy this and put it as test dot stop it ok and after that we need to execute uh, prepare this SQL query so I take a statement I take shortcut variable name so stmt equal to dollar this our database name prepare sql okay now let's check if is it success so we need to take a try else we need to catch them with our pdr exceptions sorry So video exception and the second one is dollar e. 
which is used to put the um, error message into our dollar a echo error Error message is successfully down, and now what is our next our target? Is we need to execute our query. So dollar this. Sorry, not dollar this. Stmt because it's our statement, and it's execute. our data and dollar uh, this db and it took commit this so yeah and if you if you really want a last inserted id because of most of the times we need uh, we need the uh, last inserted id for in store them or make a session id all things we will discuss in the latest video so i take a variable name last sorry insert id equal to dollar this dv last insert id and i return it okay now we need to check this it's is it successfully working or not so i am coming back to the work root area and make it new file which is which name is test.php okay and coming back to the localhost slash ecom slash test dot php there is nothing to show so now i am open a php tag and attach that file so i include and the class name is class and crud dot php and make a new object so i just simply write obj equal to new and uh, class name is crud okay so new crud okay and i take is uh, demo data so array you can write the array like this or you can simply write this okay now we need to make a new table name into our database so here is our my web underscore ecom and i make a new table which is all simply user and three and go The first one is user underscore id, second one user underscore name, and the third one is user underscore age. Now it's a auto increment and it's a primary key, and it's a variable character hundred variable character twenty. Now save it. So our first uh, column name is user underscore name. So user underscore name. 
we need we, need, we just need to write associative associative array so first name is john doe comma the second one is user underscore age which is 23 okay now uh, we just fetch this uh, insert method dollar obj insert our first method is table name so table name is user and second parameter is our dollar data let's save and check into the browser refresh sorry i think i forgot something in the db.php we need to remove this save so there is no active transaction and let's check into the browser so you can see here is john doe but it's so so say error message there is no active transaction so we we have a simple key we just need to put the dollar this db begin transaction okay now refresh okay so uh, it's just a begin so yeah so now again so as you can see here is john Doyle. now uh, i take another new name it's a uh, Vishal and uh, age is 24 refresh so as you can see our fourth option is Vishal and the uh, user age is 24 it's mean our insert method is not su successfully created in the next video we we will uh, make a brand insert insertion uh, form and category insertion form and also uh, we need to make a login method for our admin panel so let's see in the next video thank you so much and stay with me happy coding